week's rule of the week is all about airports and airport signs. So here I have a, a little runway sign and what I can do is I can start changing it by changing its parameters. So I'm going to set the message on the back to say runway to indicate planes need to go this way to get to the runway. And then I can change this parameter to change the what's on the front to say that the taxiway is this way. And what it's doing is uh, using a rule that creates text and inserting that text into the sign to create these messages. And then I can manipulate the components of the sign as well. So I, for instance, I can change the color of the base or the thickness of the base. Uh, I can change the, the size of the frame or the depth of the frame. There's a variety of ways I can manipulate this sign. So it's a, it's a nice little kind of basic sign that you can put on the ground. You don't have to use it just for runways. It could be used for just about anything. But I think that the really compelling part of this rule is the way it's using text. And it's actually calling uh, another rule to insert text in this rule. And you could use this to do text on street signs or, or wall signs or other kinds of signs that you're interested in. And so one of the questions I got the other day uh, from someone I supplied this rule to was, how do I unpack it? How do I rip this rule package apart that creates these different runway signs? Pull out the part that has just the text so I can reuse that. So just briefly, I wanted to share with you how to import an RPK rule so you can get access to all the assets in the core rules. So in City Engine, you know, you go under File and you can import. You get this rule package importer. Select the rule package that you're interested in uh, unpacking. Uh, in this case, it's going to be the runway sign. You select the location. I'm going to drop it into the, the rules and development folder in my rule of the week rules folder and uh, then I'll just look at it in Windows Explorer to, to show you what actually gets cracked out there. So we get a collection of folders, we have the assets, all the different parts that are called in a rule, and then we have another one with the rules which actually shows the rule that does the text that you could use as a reference. So if you're interested in uh, unpacking a rule, this is the way you do it, and if you're interested in adding text, uh, take a look at this rule of the week and crack it open and take a look at the rules uh, inside.